I've done quite a few videos now on coding with Nux.js. Never written a single unit test. Yep, you can beat me up for this. I'm not exactly doing test-driven development. So let's go and look at how we can set ourselves up for doing unit testing with Vue and Nux.js. Okay, so let's get ourselves set up with this Nuxt app so that we can do some unit tests. So we are going to need some packages and let's install beat test. We are also going to need VJS plugin view to give us some utilities that we need. And we need a new file in our project, beat test dot config and it's a TypeScript file and this is where all the configuration of the Vite test component lives. We need to import the define config and we also want to import view from that plugin library that we just installed and then we can go and define any config that we need for our unit tests using that define config. So we need to tell it that we're doing view testing and we do that using the plugins. So that's what that view import is for. So now that sets us up ready for testing view type components. And we're also going to set a globals property to true, which just enables things so that we don't have to do lots of unnecessary imports in our testing components. So that's it for our test config for now. Let's go and change our TypeScript configuration. And we are going to add in the Vite test globals types into the TypeScript compiler so that it knows all about those global elements so that we don't get lots of red squigglies in our tests. And then let's go and create a new folder in here called tests and a new test file in here called import dot test dot ts now there's lots of different ways that you can set up your testing some people embed them in the actual folder structure itself and put them alongside the components i prefer to keep all of my tests in a separate folder so that they're easily excluded from the build so i like to keep my tests totally separate but it's your preference really how you want to go about configuring your tests but it results in the same thing either you have a an dot spec .ts file or a .test.ts file that actually does your test. So all we're going to test in this particular file is that the view import statement actually works for a component. So inside this imports, I should have called that imports just to be consistent. So we describe our test. So I'm describing it as I'm going to test the imports or view components. And then within our describe method, we have test methods that again have some kind of description against them. So that's my test. And then inside here, again, we have another anonymous function call or arrow function. And then it's in here where we can actually do our test. So what am I going to do inside my test? I'm going to test importing a component. So I need to go to from here back up to the components folder of my application. And I'm just going to pick a simple component for now. And then in our test, we have expect statements, which is basically our assertions as to what we're expecting our test to have done. So this is our actual test code and this is what we expect it to have done. So I can say that, that uh, I'm expecting the component to be defined is nothing more than that. So let's save that. Let's go over to our package JSON and just in here we need to add a test script that's going to run the test for us. Now I can do npm run test down here and that will run any tests that it finds with that particular dot test dot ts. So as we can see, it found imports dot test dot ts. It ran that and it passed. 
So that's a good start. So let's add a couple of more tests into this just because there's different ways of importing components. So it's subtle, but this one's just using the different back ticks to make sure that that works. And then my last test is going to use a constant for the name of the component. Save that. OK, so now rather than running the tests as part of the terminal, what we really want is an extension. So let's go and install the V test extension. Now you can see I get these little play buttons next to my tests or a big multi play button. And also I get this testing tab over here where I can actually likewise run all of my tests or individual tests and also debug these things. So if I right click, I can debug a test or I can run a test. So let's just try a test and see what we get. And occasionally it fails on the first call for some bizarre reason, but then works on the second one. But that seems to have worked successfully first time. So that's good. So you should get the same results, both using this inside the extension or running the NPM test inside the terminal. And you might find, although I'm not seeing it here, that you get some uh, red squigglies against this import statement. So in order to get rid of those, what we can do is add a file, not into our tests folder. We can add a file in the root of our project called view shims.d.ts and inside here, just going to paste in some code. So we declare the module star.view and we have to define a component. And in doing this, this imports a lot of uh, the definitions from view into the TypeScript compiler and it finds that and that gets rid of those red squigglies for you. But I'm not seeing that as a problem here, but just in case you do, then this is the way forward with that one. So I'll leave that in the code base anyway. So that's given us the basics of getting up and running. The last thing that we just want to have a quick look at is to add coverage so that we can see how much of our code base we are or aren't testing. And to do that, we can add in a coverage script, which runs the coverage option of Vite test. So let's do an npm run coverage. And then once we've got all that installed and up and running, we can see that we get our coverage stats out as we would expect, which at the moment is 100% based on the test files that we're using. So that's good. So that gets us up and running. And in future videos, I'm going to look at going through some more of these folders and working out how we can test some of these components um, and bits and pieces of a Nuxt application. So stay tuned for that. And that's it for this video. So thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.